Hello again. We need to look at these things called spreadsheets. This is what a spreadsheet looks like. It does a great job of organizing information for you, data in our case. Look at the top here. I mean, I put headers and this little gray bar is telling me that I fixed that row to stay in place so that when I scroll that row, the header always stays there. You don't have to do that if you don't have a lot of data. Now I've got names here. We've got a bunch of data in between here. Great thing about spreadsheets is you can manipulate the data, how you want to look at things. For example, right now I have it sorted by the number of pennies that things float um, from zero to the greatest. I could tell it to switch that around if I wanted to. You know, click on, actually don't have to click on anything. Click on data, sort the sheet by column. Well, I'm in column F, so I probably should click on column E. Sort sheet by column E. Um, a to Z or Z to A, that means, you know, up or down. Flip it around and there we go. It's sorted by that. We can sort by whatever you want. Make it sort by name. So click on the column, sort by a short sheet by column, by name, boom. So we went by whatever we had name. So sorting is a great idea. Uh, helps you look at your data in various ways. Uh, so, you know, that's kind of helpful. But the really the more thing that it's helpful for is um, collect, uh, analyzing the data. I'm going to on this way. Calculating some things. Like here I calculated the median the mode, the mean, okay? And I did that by telling the computer to do it for me. I'll show you how to do that in a minute here. So you need to go to Google, Google Drive, get a new sheet. And this is gonna be for your, you know, your puzzle cube. It's open up a new sheet. Oh, don't go there. Oh my gosh. Sometimes the computer doesn't click where I think I'm clicking. Open up a new sheet. Always title your stuff right away. Uh, puzzle cube. All right. So you're going to have your people and your times. You gotta decide whether you're gonna put time in seconds or time in minutes. I would recommend seconds. Um, I mean, you can do it minutes, but you can't do like five minutes, 20 seconds. The computer can't calculate anything with that in the, the cell. So if it was 520, you'd have to go five minutes, 20 out of 60 is one third. You'd have to go 5.33 for 5.33 minutes or and you would tell yourself here time is in minutes you know what you're doing um, or you can just do it in seconds let's go to seconds either works you just got to know what you're doing and again it's got to just be a number it can't be words in here so five minutes and 20 seconds would be five times 60 is 300, 300 plus 20, 320 seconds, okay? So you get your data. I'm just gonna put in a bunch of data here. You're gonna have to decide, you're gonna have some people didn't solve your puzzle. So do you wanna include them in the calculation? How do you include them if they have no time? You probably can't include them if they have no time. Um, you can't put zero. And you can't just put the upper limit because they didn't solve it. Um, 559 is probably a lot. Um, 180. That'd be like three minutes. 40 seconds. Wow. So you get your data, you know, whatever it is. What I say, you got to have, come on. Just putting in data. And you need enough data to get some real statistics from. That's why I said, you know, 20 to 25. Uh, I'm just throwing things in here so we get enough. Because if you don't have enough data, you can't really t say anything from it. 185. 
All right, so there we got some data. All right, so you can, again, sort the data, different ways to look at it, like to see the, find the min and the max, but the computer will actually do that for you. So here, uh, I want to find the median. So I'm going to label this median, and over in this next slide, I got to tell the computer I want to calculate something for me. So put equals, and then start typing, and it says, hey, median. Okay, so I type median. What it wants is it wants to know where the data is. So you put parentheses, and your data is in B2, and then colon, not semicolon, colon. And it goes all the way down to B25. Okay. So we've got to tell it that. B2 to B25. Hit enter, and there it, it found the median. Mode equals mode again in parentheses tell it where your data is b2 colon b25 right close the parentheses and you know notice it's coloring in where our data is um what what did it didn't like something mode what can it that's interesting okay. mode cannot produce a result no values occur more than once okay no one that's fine uh me, mean there actually is not a function called mean. It's actually a function called average. Yeah. The average was 100. Oh, they probably don't want all those decimals. So up here is a little decimal changing thing. Okay, let's take it down. That's fine. Three, four, five. You know, a couple decimals in there. Almost um, min minimum equals bin b2 through b25 our minimum time was 40 guess what maximum maximum equals max and again it, it's pulling up what the what the formula is max b2 colon b25 Boom. so we didn't have to sort the data for it to calculate sorting is more for you to look at so that's a great idea of spreadsheets. Um, if any piece of data changes, that 198, oh, that was wrong. That's supposed to be a, four, a 298. Your numbers will automatically change because it's a formula. And notice the min and the max didn't change, but the other stuff changed. So it's a nice way to, to, for you to play with data. That's a spreadsheet. Make sure you do one of those and include it.